I was like, a little rock. Oh no, uh, app trash. Is that who he was in real life? On Time Street? Except Sunday, 9 to 5. The TVA is gone. I think you mean ATV and no urine lock. I think you mean we ATV. Last week, they're upstairs. You don't remember me either. No, no, I do. You were you you were in just the other day, right? Is there sons on line three? Sorry, see my dad. Give me a second. Soldier will call him back. You're on their side. Tell him I'll call him back. <laughs> Kids. It's from 1994. This is our contingent. I've never seen this one before. It's really good. He's one of the greats. I read everything he does. Ooh, let's check it out. Better hurry. There's only a few left on the shelf. Hmm. I'm reading the barcode. Well, I can give you cash. I don't need a receipt or anything. No, but I have to ring it up. For... Are you writing your own book? You. Again? I told you to stop putting your sci-fi books on our shelves. Oh my god, he just goes in there. That's like a bark. Thought-provoking genre. Well, nobody buys it here. Nobody would have been able to buy it. So maybe he the only one Loki would be able to talk to. Because he'd be able to, like, at least reason with it. has come to life and needs my help. This reminds me of what happens in The Sons of Yorma. What's that? Just, you know, my most popular book of all time. I'm sure I can find your copy somewhere around here. Wait. 
You were a writer? Yes. Science fiction. I'm doomed. But, and this is kind of embarrassing, I had to get a PhD to get my day job teaching theoretical physics at Caltech. Oh, cool. Well, that was good again. That's great. Yeah. If I can quit and write full time, you have no idea how hard it is to break. Hey, look at this. Here's a copy. No, what I I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. Can we just stay on track? Of course. So, uh, what exactly are you trying to do? I need to go back to before the temporal loom melted down. You can't. It's impossible. But don't let that stop you. I don't understand what you just said. Well, you time travel in a place that has no time, right? Right. That's not possible. I know. So you traveling to a place that doesn't exist anymore is equally impossible. And therefore, it's something you might be able to do. Sure. Excellent. <laughs> How do I do it though? No, but it does sound like fiction. You need to learn how to control your time slipping. I can't control it. I can't just make it happen. It's uh, it's random. But it isn't random because you keep ending up around exactly the people you're looking for. Right. And it's evolving. Because you're not just slipping in time, you're also moving around in space. It's like you're a better version of one of those tampacks. You make it sound like it's a good thing. With science, it's all what and how. But with fiction, it's why. So why do you need to do this? Why do I need to do this? I'll tell you why. Because if I can't save the TVA from being destroyed, there will be nothing to protect against what's coming. Well, if that's the real why that's guiding you, you should be able to control it. So go ahead. Now, well, if there's gonna be nothing, there'll be it. nobody coming. <laughs> right? All right. Focus in on that why. You need to save the TVA. You need to save the TVA. Because it really feels like time slipping is the answer. Maybe we focus on the science. Okay. So, this equation proposes that. Ah! What are you doing? Science. No, no, we have to lift it and fix it and initiate time slipping. He's, doing, he's trying to see what. No. Mentally, yeah. it's under. Fight flight. Okay, let's forget about the time slipping. Right. How does science help us? Get to a place that doesn't exist. Well, maybe it does exist. It doesn't. I saw it disappear with my own eyes. But then you said you also time travel in a place at the TVA, right? The time theater, said yes. If that's the case, then maybe the place and time you're looking for still exists, but you just don't know what to look for. Let's try this. Crash. Okay, because I'm tired of coming home. Mm -mm. This is what he didn't want to see, sale. that his life is good, baby. Is he burnt? Yeah, he's burnt. How did he get burnt? Get... Who gave you the matches? I stole them. No, he... Give them to me. Come on. Hand them over. Two Don't run, Kevin. Kevin. Ke Kevin! Get... Sean, go get him. Come on. Hurry. And if you keep him from burning down the house, I'll get you a puppy. Come on. And the snake? Then we'll negotiate later. Run! All right. <laughs> and the snake? Small victories. Hello. Hello. Hi. Uh, hey. Oh, we were at the shop earlier. That's right. Yeah. Do you live around here? Or did you follow me home? Oh, no. <laughs> no, no. 
I was, um, I was actually... What do you mean not understand? Listen, look, you can come back anytime. Oh, you were, uh, you were at the shop earlier, right? We're time traveling shit right now. Yeah. I can bring you back to any point in time. It is... Part of this whole saving of is this room safe for the long yeah. for the this whole area is totally abandoned. Moves around for miles. So is this everyone? No. There's one more. This, this is going to sound strange. I know you don't know who Thank I am. You. Of course I know who you are. No, uh oh. Yeah. What? No one else has known who I was. You do? Why wouldn't I? Because nobody else did. Their lives were reset after the movie. Yeah, I know. I was there. I'm sorry. How the hell you get out? I'm sorry. This isn't how I thought this scene was going to play out. No, yeah, the whole well, speech exactly and everything. Okay. Get in the car. I'm buying you a drink. Okay. Oh, the price you got. However, Mobius' life at the TVA was taken from him. So is B-15s. OB, Casey was a prisoner. They don't remember who they are. Their lives matter. They matter. Yeah, and they're finally back in yeah. their oh, lives. Okay, thank you. I was like, where did we just see that? Eric. Brad. Get a drink. Yeah. But how many? If they had a choice, would have chosen to stay. Mobius always said the TVA was the only life he'd ever known, and he liked it. It gave him purpose. It was never his choice to begin with, Loki. He who remains did that. But Mobius should have a choice now. No? Shouldn't they all? To return to the TVA if they want? No, you would be ripping people from their lives, showing them something that they cannot unsee. What kind of choice is that? But they didn't get a choice in this. And I can't give it to them without you. You don't care? I guess not. I guess this all worked out just the way you wanted it to. You're fine just walking away. So selfish. Oh, of course I'm selfish. I want a life. I want to live. What's wrong with wanting something like you? What do you want? I want to stop the he who remains. No, wrong. Try again. What is it that you really want? I want, Come on. I want to save this. I want to save everything. All of it. Is it really that hard? Come on, keep trying. I want to save the TVA. Why? I want the TVA back. And? What do you want? I want my friends back. <laughs> Two bourbons, please. Excellent choice, Sophie. He likes having his friends, baby. Mm -hmm. I want my friends back. I don't want to be alone. There it is. See? We're both selfish. That's what it's gonna take for her to come back. But how she can't get to him. Yeah, I don't know how. Yeah, that, one that, that, that one's done. Yeah. You showed up and told each of us that we're the key to saving all of existence. So now, now. she knows she's yeah, gonna be able to be like, we gotta do this. I got it wrong. No, I'm saying way. she was in denial anyway. She saw that damn McDonald's right. bag go away. What I wanted. Go spaghetti. I know. 
He controlled his time slipping. Yes! He's controlling it! No, they aren't. Everything's falling apart. The branches are dying. So what does that mean? I don't know. I don't know what's happening, but there must be something we can do. I did it. What? I did it. Did what? Yeah. <laughs> yes, you did! You learned to control your time slipping. Yes. The music it's is all so about good. Where, when, or why? It's about who. So five the penultimate of Loki. Um, yeah, I mean, at at what point did he get endowed with the powers to jump through time? When did when did that happen? Or, or what happened? Is it a magnitude of things that we just missed over season one and season no, two? No, I think it's gonna be explained. We're okay. gonna figure out. He just figured out though that he's he a who. That. Like that's he. That is something that's giving him access to like to do that. To do that, yeah. And then at the same time, right? Is that a is that a missed? I don't know. If if the TVA is supposed to exist in no time, but it exists anyway, then yeah, I, I get what Ob is saying. That's impossible, right? This. It, Time is just always time. So it can't be outside of time. So, okay. You probably ain't going to explain that one there. So that means, really, all he needs to do is go back in time, which he just did at the end right here. And I don't know what. Because whoever steps outside is going to turn to spaghetti. So you're going to need to go back, like, I guess maybe earlier than that. So y'all can do what you got to do. So we, we'll see, man. But, I mean, look, that's... At this point, it becomes very easy now that we can just jump back in time to do it. Um, that Loki's got that ability to do it. And I guess who can do it, it will be Loki. So, I mean, that's, I, I think in my head, that's just the easiest thing we're about to see and do on there. But, I mean, getting to it, it was great. I mean, even this episode is still a little, I mean, it, it, you just have to just watch it again and, and really get that confusion out of there. But, I mean... It, it works. It just all works. And it is really scary that they kept spaghetti and everybody and everything because you don't know when it was going to stop, how it was going to stop, or or if it was going to stop. And so, yeah, I was getting worried there for a minute. But now that he jumped right back to when it was about to go down, now I'm interested to see how we're going to how we gonna finish this. And then what is going to happen once he does save the TVA? How does it go on from there? I don't know. But damn, if this ain't been a good little run right here, these five episodes, that is how you do it. Can't wait to see the season finale. I absolutely love everything about this episode. Love it. Love it. I love the whole trying to 
uh, trying to collect all the teammates. I love the aspect that you got to get the aura right and that way you can get the coordinates and that's how we can find that space and time when we're all together. I feel like that is enough justification for getting the squad together. It was really cool to see everybody actually in the timeline that they got plucked from, um, which I wasn't sure the show was ever going to show us. So to have that all accumulated in one episode brilliant writing so satisfying which i feel like so many shows fail to like really capture that satisfaction but like we've been saying it since the beginning we wanted to see well where were they in their real lives and like they just handled it all in one episode super clean super quick but it all made sense with the greater the greater context of having to collect them all in order to uh uh navigate the plan that this ob came up with the other thing that I think is just brilliant, and I, I'm hoping it's better expressed in the finale, which I have full faith, based on how good the quality of the writing this season has been, it will be. But I love the fact that we initially thought the time slipping was an infliction or like something that had to be cured of Loki, where it feels like it's an actual power that he has access to because of his time in the TVA, because it came back. And now he re recognized it's something that he can control, which gives him the ability to navigate this very precarious situation in a way that nobody else can. So it feels like he's almost like chosen, which is giving me like so many vibes and I'm like so hyped about it. And I can't wait to see how it plays out. I love the bar scene where both uh, uh, Sylvie and Loki were being honest about their selfish intentions. She selfishly wants to have a life and be able to live it out so she doesn't care about necessarily saving the TVA. And I love Sylvie pushing Loki to get to the why and the what he wants. And ultimately, he finally found purpose. He finally found family and friendship and he doesn't want to give that up i loved it so Makes much sense. this series is like giving me all kinds of energy yeah. it's giving me life um i cannot wait i think this is a perfect way uh to set the or to to have the penultimate episode to set up the finale and i am so hyped to see how yeah. they wrap this yeah. up all right well look thank you guys again for watching another real talk reaction for loki season two episode number five and until next time peace